Hi everybody, how you doing? I'm Jody, Screen Door Girl 3, and I want to share today my dining room pictures. They're um, these collage pictures of my children, and maybe you've seen them, they're each grade, but you can't really fill them in until, you know, it's quite some time. These are my two sons. Um, he just graduated college, aren't they handsome? And this is my daughter, she's still in high school, so she'll be filled in as it goes. And I, uh, I amped up the frames a little bit. I love um, Heirloom White Spray Paint by Rust-Oleum. It's a beautiful, satiny, soft white. So I like to unify. I have quite a few frames I uh, sprayed with this in my dining room. So um, Heirloom White is great by Rust-Oleum. So I did that, and I hung them up, and but they needed something. And I was waiting for the idea to come to me, and I was on Pinterest, you know, the other night for just a couple of minutes, and um, I came across this uh, post from Dish Functional Designs blog. Her name is Laura Beth. She's got a beautiful blog, uh, all kinds of ideas, but this was about creative things to do with baby shoes. So, of course, I went running up to the attic, and I was fairly sure that I had saved some, and I was so happy to find these, and they were just, just right. So I put them up with Velcro, actually, and um, I don't know if you know, just a little tidbit about Velcro, that it was invented by a guy in 1948, his name was George de Mastro, and he was in Switzerland, and he was hunting in the woods with his dog, and he came home, and he saw that all these burrs were stuck to his dog and his socks, and like, stuck so hard, and he was, he was obsessed with how they were stuck, so he was a scientist. And he looked under a microscope and he saw that the burrs had all these hooks on it. And that's what was making it stick so hard. So that's why it's called hook and loop tape. I don't know if you know, or Velcro. And this was 1948. And then it took a few years. And then 1955 was finally patented. And of course, now they use it on spacesuits. But I love that kind of stuff, how his mind just continued um, investigating this Velcro. But anyway, back to my shoes. And I thought this was the perfect idea, like I said, and I love them, it's so cute. So if you want to try it, go up to the attic, find some baby shoes. And I'm so glad I saved them because I was so interested in, of course, you know, keeping things organized and keep cleaning up the mess. But young moms, save your baby shoes, they're so little, just put them in a shoe box, they'll all fit in there. But um, anyway, um, go up to the attic and find them and have a good cry. And then clean up your mascara. Go to Home Depot, get some Velcro tape, hook and loop tape, and just stick it on. And it's so cute, so tiny. And just stick it right on like that. And I think it's just right. And it's so cute. And um, I mean, he's 23, he just graduated college, and all of them are getting older. But, you know, it's, it was always nice for me to come go to my mom's house and see my picture hanging there. And it really feels like home. So this is the only place I think I could get away with baby shoes in my dining room. But, you know, that's the fun of it. And that's what home is all about. And um, so that's my idea from Dysfunctional uh, Design blog. Thank you, Laura Beth. So check out Pinterest. Check me out, Screen Door Girl 3. And um, thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. Bye.